The research partnerships that ultimately we want to create are research partnerships between people. What we want from a partnership is, you know, what we typically find is that people in China have this deep institutional knowledge of what actually happens and an understanding of what exactly the institutions are. What the people in the U.S. have is a set of frameworks of, of how to approach a question, but typically what they lack is the institutional knowledge of what actually happens. So I think combining these two things, I, I think just just is is tremendously exciting in in terms of leading to to new knowledge, leading to more understanding, leading to. Uh, an understanding of what's happened in the past, an understanding of what the current forces are, and some sense of where things are go going to go in the future. I think of that as, as the main job of the University of Chicago, that, that is to push out the frontier of knowledge, and that's what, what I see as the promise. BFI China is going to grow into something that's that, that is tremendously important. Right now, the way that we, we are starting is that we, we are spearheading three broad initiatives in China. And the three initiatives, I, I think, re, uh, revolve around three of the transformations that are taking place in China. Number one is that what we've seen in the last 10 years is that there's been a dramatic change in the nature of financial institutions in China. Well, one of the most amazing things to see at least for me to see in China is that you look at the beggars on the street, they don't have a bowl, they they hold up two QR codes, uh, the Q, Q, QR code. So they don't want your cash, they want you to just swipe your app. So that's just one example of the dramatic change in the nature of financial institutions. That it is now, I think, really a completely cashless economy. So one part of what BFI is doing is to basically try, try to understand the nature of the changes in the financial institutions that have taken place, understanding what the consequences have been, and trying to get some sense of wh where it's going to go uh, going forward. The other thing that you've seen developing in China is just the vast availability of data. That you have all these companies that are involved in every aspect of a person's life. You know, think about what Google knows about you and what they know about you is basically, you know, what you do online. Uh, but think about what Chinese companies know about you is like it's they know the kind of stuff that Google knows, but they also know everything you do offline as well. So be, being able to tap into that data, try to be able to use that data to, to try to understand the underlying patterns, uh, that's the other part of what we're doing. And then the third prong is that one of the things that we've seen in China in the last five, in the last five years is that there's been a, a, a big drive to, um, to curb uh, pollution. So the other part of what BFI China is doing is to basically work with local government to, to try to A, understand that process and also to make that process work better. Uh, so that's where we're starting and the goal is that in a few years time it's gonna you know we will have a bunch more initiative just because you know it's 1.4 billion people and things are changing every day. <laughs>